Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. Now, the pink gin cocktail is an extremely simple cocktail. It's just got two ingredients, gin and bitters. And it's the bitters that add the color to it to make it called the pink gin cocktail. We're going to use Hendrix gin. I'm going to put an ounce and a half, which is essentially, you know, a shot is an ounce and a half. That's a standard pour of a spirit. And I'm going to add that to a stirring glass since both ingredients are going to be clear. Now before I do this, I want to kind of show you a comparison here between two different mixing glasses. Um, this is a nice mixing glass. I love this sort of style. It's designed for mixing cocktails. It's got a special flared lip on it. It even has a special strainer that is specially designed for fitting specifically in this glass. Unfortunately, these mixing glasses can be hard to find. So instead what I'm going to use is the uh, standard base pint glass from a Boston shaker. You can also use these for mixing as well. So let's add our ounce and a half of gin to that. Now for the color, we're going to use Angostura bitters, like I said, and rather than just a dash or two, we're going to actually add several dashes. Now how many dashes you add is up to you. Um, if you really haven't gotten into Angostura bitters yet, maybe three, four at the most dashes. Uh, people like uh, Dr. Cocktail or, or Ted Hay, um, he likes talking about adding seven or more dashes to his. So let's just add me about four dashes this time. One, two, three, four. Now, another thing you notice on bitters bottles, each one has a slightly different dasher cap on it. And so how big a dash is really depends upon the bottle. So you really need to pay attention to, as you're adding the bitters, what is coming out into that glass. No, nope, that's the only ingredients we have there. Now the ice. And stir to chill. Now, in straining this out, I mean, you might use a standard Hawthorn strainer. I mean, I, I really love the OXO strainers, but the problem you notice is they don't really fit in the glass. I mean, when you do get them down there, you're actually popping them in and they can bounce right back out again. So instead, we want to make sure we use a julep strainer. A julep strainer is designed essentially for going in here. It doesn't appear to fit properly, but all it's trying to do is basically hold back the ice and it does a wonderful job at that. Now again, you'll notice that um, we only had one and a half ounces of product because it was just the base spirit going in here, which means we have a fairly short cocktail. You didn't want to, wouldn't want to put this on all those big gigantic 10 ounce cocktail glasses because either you would have just a little teeny bit of stuff in the bottom of your glass, or if you added enough booze to fill up the glass, there's no way you're going to drink that whole thing. And so that's why I like having some nice small cocktail glasses around. This just barely holds a drink like the pink gin. And there we have a wonderful classic cocktail, the pink gin cocktail.